Now just imagine for a moment that you are trapped in a house of a blind special forces soldier who wants to kill you and you can't make a sound, what would you do? A trio of thieves in this movie, hoping to walk away with a massive fortune, break into the house of a blind man who isn't as helpless as he seems, and turn this into a trap that takes a surprising turn in the end. In this video, I will explain how to beat the blind man and don't breathe, and what you should do if you ever stuck in that same situation. So stay tuned till the end and watch out for spoilers. Three Detroit friends, Rocky, Alex, and Money, are small-time burglars and used to break into the houses of wealthy owners. Rocky stays with her little sister and their abusive mother and her boyfriend. She promises her sister that she will get both of them out of there so they can start a new life in California. Alex lives with his father, an active policeman, who is never home and is apparently pulling double shifts at the local police station. Alex uses his father's computer connections to look for wealthy people to rob and use keys to break into the houses. Money gets a tip from one of his connects about a man living in a house with more than $300,000 in cash stashed somewhere. It's been said that the man is a war veteran and lives alone after his daughter was killed in a car accident. Rocky is on board since this could be the last robbery they ever have to pull off and she can move to California with her sister. But Alex doesn't agree with the plan. He later relents when Rocky begs him as he has a crush on her even though she's with money. The three stalk the man's house, which is located in a slum neighborhood and is the only occupied house on the street since every other house is condemned and find out that he is blind. Now they think the job appears to have gotten a whole lot easier because the man is blind. But let's look for some red flags that one should notice here. The man is extremely fit for his age and he is living in a neighborhood where no one else lives with a trained Rottweiler dog. So this robbery may be not be as easy as they all think. Later that night, the three initiate the robbery. The friends head toward the man's house. Money drugs the dog to get him to knock out, allowing them a safe entry into the house. Rocky goes in first through a small bathroom window and disables the security system. While her friends wait for her, she returns and opens the back door. Money goes upstairs and finds the blind man sleeping with the TV on. The blind man rises and hears a noise. He just turns the TV off and goes back to sleep. Money gasses the room to ensure that the man won't hear anything. What you should do now is lock him in by any heavy piece of furniture so that if he somehow wakes up then you have the time to leave the house safely. The three find a locked door that leads to the basement. They think this is where they will find the man's stash. They try forcing it to open with a pry bar. And when that doesn't work, one of the burglars pulls out a gun and shoots the lock off. Alex decides to leave as he knows things can go very bad from here. Suddenly the blind man appears behind them. Who, who's there? Money starts talking and says he doesn't want trouble until he decides to pull a gun out on the man. The blind man takes a few steps forward as Money holds the gun in his face. Money threatens him with his gun shooting a warning shot, which alerts Alex outside. As he slowly gets closer, the man grabs the gun from Money's hand and pins him against the wall. The blind man asks Money how many of them there are in the house. Now at this moment, you should realize that you cannot beat him with the power as the men have great physical abilities and can sense better. Money says it's just him and he pleads for the man to let him go. The blind man loosens his grip but then shoots Money in the neck and through the head. Rocky hides herself in the closet. The man enters and opens a safe containing his money. Rocky sees the code as he leaves. Alex goes to find Rocky after the blind man starts locking up all the doors and windows. They both discover the cash inside the safe. Rocky quickly grabs the bundles of cash in the bag. Now they got the money but how are they going to leave? They decide that they just have to sneak in through the basement and out the cellar door that leads outside. They head toward the basement but the man emerges from there. 
them that is scary. The two keep quiet as he holds Money's gun. Someone's phone goes off and he fires a quick shot. Incredible aim for a blind man. Rocky and Alex then head downstairs as the man drags Money's body outside. But they're about to find a horrifying surprise awaiting them in the basement. In the basement, Rocky is startled by a woman who's been chained up to the wall. This just got way more intense now. Killing an armed burglar is one thing, but this is insane. They now understand who they're dealing with, a psycho killer. Rocky and Alex are freaked out and almost leave her until the woman holds up a newspaper article. It reveals that she's the woman who accidentally killed the blind man's daughter, but she was acquitted. Rocky and Alex free her and carry her toward the cellar door. Unfortunately, the blind man is there when they open it. He fires the gun and strikes Cindy in the face, killing her. Rocky and Alex hide, and the man finds out he shot Cindy. He cries over her body and yells in rage. Alex picks up the man's keys and decides to try and make it back to the front door. As he and Rocky head back upstairs, the blind man turns off the lights in the basement, leaving them all in total darkness. Rocky and Alex feel around for each other as the man shoots the gun. Rocky almost touches the blind man until Alex calls her name. The blind man catches Alex and tries to shoot, but his gun is empty. Alex pushes a shelf down on him, trapping him. He and Rocky run upstairs. Alex holds the door closed with a crowbar. He and Rocky try to open the door, only to find the dog has woken up and is ready to attack them. They run from the dog and trap it in a room. Unfortunately, the blind man has gotten out of the basement and he attacks Alex. He punches him multiple times in the face and appears to impale him with garden shears. He then finds Rocky and knocks her out too. Rocky wakes up in the basement, chained in the same spot as Cindy. She tells the blind man that this won't bring his daughter back. He says that's not entirely true. He impregnated Cindy to give him a child to make up for the one she killed, and he would have let her go once she gave birth. With Cindy dead, his unborn child has died as well, and he holds Rocky accountable. He cuts open a hole in Rocky's pants and grabs a bastard filled with his semen sample. He prepares to impregnate Rocky, but luckily Alex has gotten up and grabbed a hammer. He whacks the blind man over the head and frees Rocky. They handcuff the man to a pole. She starts kicking the man and then stuffs the bastard down his throat. They leave him alone and decide not to involve the cops since the man could easily tell the cops that Rocky and Alex broke in. The two head back upstairs to leave. They manage to open the front door, but the blind man has gotten up and he shoots Alex dead. Rocky makes a run for it just as the man lets the dog out. Rocky runs back to Money's car and tries to make it in before the dog gets her, but she dropped her bag outside the car. Rocky opens the trunk to try and trap the dog in there so she can get out. Her plan works and she goes outside to get the money, but the blind man comes out and knocks Rocky out again. The blind man drags Rocky back to his house to finish his job. A ladybug flies onto Rocky's hand, giving her a boost of confidence and hope. Rocky grabs the control to set off the security system, causing the alarm to distract the man. She grabs the crowbar and whacks the blind man over the head multiple times until he falls into the basement and has his gun go off, shooting him in the side. Rocky takes the money and leaves the house before the police show up. Rocky is now with her sister at the Detroit airport, ready to start their new lives. Rocky then sees a news report on TV stating that the blind man was found alive and that only two burglars were reported as breaking into his home and that he killed both of them. There's no mention of her name or any money being stolen, but the veteran is still alive and recovering in the hospital. He hasn't told anyone about what really happened, but who knows what he'll do once he's finally out. But what do you think? How would you beat the blind soldier? Let me know with a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like on this video. Take care.